This is the story of three Chicagoans, all raised as Christians, all who decided to ultimately reject that religion. Internet is down. Nadira Rodriguez Muhammad grew up Catholic, but found herself constantly questioning the long-held beliefs of her family. I always felt that something was missing for me. Ian Bushner is a law student at the University of Chicago. I felt like that. Uh, there wasn't a God. Whitney Nichols is a new Loyola grad who grew up in suburban Streamwood. I guess what I was really looking for was what felt most natural and most logical to me. When Nadira entered high school in the mid-1990s, she became friends with a group of Muslim girls. They just had a, this level of contentment and a sisterhood that was I wanted to be a part of that. Ian drifted towards the Muslim students at his high school as well. I remember um, defending some of my um, friends at school from accusations, you know, after 9-11. And then I started reading the Quran. I said, oh, here is a form of God that I've never been presented before. After September 11, you know, the... Uh, interest actually increased. Dr. Asad Basul is professor at Chicago's Islamic American College. He says the tragedy six years ago initially prompted angry questions, but eventually many of the curious found answers to their own spiritual questions through Islam and converted. Sometimes, you know, negative things bring positive things. You know. In fact, according to a first ever random sampling of American Muslims by the Pew Research Center, 21 percent of the nation's 2.4 million Muslims are converts to the faith. Eventually I realized that I was looking to the Quran for advice, for direction, and uh, at the point that you believe that the Quran is revolution from God, then you're a Muslim. The conversion has meant many changes in their lives. Ian prays five times a day. You'll finish a prayer and realize, I've just screwed something up. I've done something mean to somebody. Let me go back and correct that. Nadira wears the scarf, or hijab, as it's called. It is part of my character, you know, modesty. I'm, it's just part of who I am. I don't know if I'll ever be ready to wear the hijab. I've become more modest. I won't wear tank tops and I won't wear shorts. Whitney says she has had to constantly defend her new religion. My father asked me right after I converted, you know, why do you want to be associated with these terrorists and I'm like this is what you see oh no and we kind of have to deal with the, the backlash of, of those who have chosen to do something so horrible but all say there is no going back at some age everyone must decide what they believe and live their life accordingly a Mexican you know I'm a female and I chose this for myself if you have a, a personal you know relationship with God whatever that may be however that may be then you're in a good place Mark Saxonmeyer, Fox News, Chicago.